gauze. Look at me. Look at me. You guys are like, bitch, you look the same. What are we looking at? <laughs> Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Celine. I'm so happy that you stopped by. But anyways, I don't want to talk a lot in this intro, so let's get right into this video. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I tinted, colored, dyed, whatever you want to call it, my eyebrows here in the comfort of my own home. Because if you guys do know, but if you don't know, let me tell you guys, I'm all about saving money, doing things on your own, and, you know, just being on a budget but looking cute. So that's basically what led me to today. Today's video I use this just for men brush in color gel in the shade deep dark brown and basically what this is this is just a gel that men use to you know fill in the gaps of their mustache or their beard if you will that's what it was created for but I have seen I'm honestly not sure where I saw it. I want to say maybe it was YouTube or Instagram I'm not sure but I had seen people mention that they could use this to fill in their eyebrows so I was like let me give it a go and honestly you guys it works bomb but without talking like I said I wasn't gonna do but here I am um, let's just go ahead and get right into the video so if you want to see how I did it then definitely keep on watching okay so first I'm gonna start by combing out my eyebrows and then do a little bit of grooming cleaning up you know all that good stuff so I'm just gonna start by plucking Ow, by pinching. I'm just kidding. Brush all my hair downward so I could cut. Now, what I'm going to go ahead and do is outline or conceal my eyebrows as I normally would, and I'm using the Frankie Rose, our little secret concealer in the shade Fresh. And I'm going to be super, super careful about this step because I don't want to get this too close to my hair. And I also don't want to leave too much skin gap, if you guys know what I mean. I'm going to connect the concealer so that I make sure that my dye is even. My right eyebrow, this eyebrow is lower than my left. So over here, you'll see that I'll kind of be touching the hair, but that's fine. I'm still not going to get any dye over it. Okay, now I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out with my fingers. I'm going to take the Makeup Revolution foundation just so I don't get the white cast over this. Honestly, I don't think this really matters. We're going to end up wiping it off anyway, but you know, because I'm crazy. I'm just going to go ahead and do that. your concealer in the middle so you could make sure that it's even now that my eyebrows are nice and concealed you can kind of see where it's kind of like lighter in some areas or where it just needs to be filled in a little bit so that's what we're hoping to do today with this eyebrow tint now i'm going to go ahead and create the mixture and then come back and fill in my eyebrows we created our little mixture i'm gonna take a brow tool like this one this is the one that i always use um i need a new one now that i'm gonna do this with it but i'm just gonna again brush out my eyebrows and then taking my little concoction here i'm just gonna go ahead and dip in just a little bit like that and then i'm gonna just start filling in as if this was just a little cream i will say that i start at the outer third of my eyebrow just because that's what I want to be darker. So for the most part, that's the outer end of my eyebrow. And I'm going to start working in on the like sparser inner areas. And mimicking my hair, I'm going to just start from the bottom and kind of flick it up. And kind of the rule with eyebrows is from the bridge of your nose up is where your eyebrow should start. So don't fill in too much or too little. 
kind of just at the bridge of your nose so you can kind of see the color coming together it's looking a little bit more dark before you guys do this though do do a little skin test it tells you that on the box so be wary of that i don't want you guys to have chemical burns on your face but for me i didn't have any kind of reaction so i went ahead and did it on my whole eyebrows but yeah that's what it looks like and again leave it on for four to five minutes i'm gonna do this eyebrow and then i'll be right back If you guys remember, this is an eyebrow that's lower, therefore I don't have as much hair right here. I'm going to try to fill this in as best as I can without it looking too choppy, if you will. By the time that I finish this one, this one's done drying. So now I'm going to go ahead and rinse this off. You rinse it off with soapy water. For the sake of this video, I went ahead and I grabbed a washcloth with some soap. And then I'm just going to go ahead and wipe it off. I wanted you guys to see what happens to my eyebrow up close as soon as I start wiping it off. what my eyebrows look like after the first little dye and rinse as you guys could tell they definitely look more dark and more full which is what I wanted I do have a little bit of sparseness right here I guess I didn't fill it in right and I didn't create like a little tail on this eyebrow I did on this one so I do do this twice so I'm gonna go ahead and focus on the areas that I didn't get I'm not gonna do concealer this time because I kind of have a good outline of where I need to just fill in the gap so now I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and then I'll see you guys for another and final rinsed look it is so much easier doing it the second time around because you see literally exactly where you just need to fill in which is nice this is the eyebrow that doesn't have hair up here so i wasn't expecting for it to 100 percent stick in there but it definitely doesn't look as bald as it used to which is nice i'm just going to go ahead and fill in the places that it didn't 100 percent stick same way i did this one so yeah what the last touch up looks like as you can tell i just filled in the places that i wanted to hopefully have a little bit more coverage and look a little bit more darker like again i'm gonna go ahead and wipe it off after five minutes and then i'll be back with my makeup fully done so you guys could see i'm not gonna fill in my eyebrows so you guys can see what they look like on their own with just concealer after the tint that is around how much i have left after using it twice definitely get a lot of use out of those little tubes which is amazing Okay guys, so this is what my eyebrows ended up looking like and I'm so in love with them. I love how they look. These are literally them. No product, no color, no eyeshadow, no gel even. I just literally brushed them up with a little spoolie um, and of course I concealed around because I did my makeup so I just used the concealer at the bottom to shape and then the foundation like I did at the beginning at the top. But yeah, this is what the eyebrows look like and I think they look so, so good. That's what they look like. Obviously you guys could see that they're not 100% filled in which like I mentioned, I freaking love because if you're not wearing foundation it doesn't look too harsh and then there's this one obviously it didn't fill in like I was mentioning over here I don't have hair there so I'm kind of surprised it stuck a tiny bit which is not bad I actually have to comb my eyebrows up and then it doesn't look as bald but let's keep it real here but yeah that's what it looks like I'm so happy with the way that they turned out I definitely definitely 100% recommend for you guys to use this product try it out on yourself try it out the way I did it some people use Vaseline some people use concealer I would definitely stick with concealer because you create like a stencil slash outline for you to just fill in your eyebrows save yourself the money save yourself the trouble of filling in your eyebrows every day give it a go i will link the product in the description box below as well as all my social media you guys already know what to do do not forget to like the video if you enjoyed and definitely don't forget to subscribe so you guys don't miss any of my future videos also let me know in the comments if you guys are gonna buy this product try it out or if you have tried it out at home i would love to know and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed i will see you guys in my next video until next time